Well, hello there, Minecrafters. Thanks for coming by and welcome back to the old useless test world. I think that's what it was called. It's been like, what, what does it say there? What does it say? It says 2016. That's how long it's been since uh, since we were even here, I guess, or at least since I was here. But anyway, guys, I'm going to be starting a new series where I show you guys some really uh, simple concepts and simple, maybe you could troll people with them, a little map maker tips. And uh, I don't know how long it will go on for, but if you guys enjoy it, leave a like and comment if you wouldn't mind. Subscribe if you haven't, so I know that you guys are enjoying this stuff. But I need to show you guys how to make functions. They are basically these sort of things. We're going to take like something like this or something like this and make it into one command, only one command. And I can show you how to do all that sort of thing. There's a list of things we need to go through, but to start it off, we need to go into the Minecraft launcher. Okay. So the very first thing that we need to have set up is a little option in the Minecraft launcher. You're probably familiar with this thing that pops up and you usually hit play, but you want to just do this little setting here. So this is 1.15.2. They have changed the look of this, uh, over time. So it may change what you're seeing if you're watching in the future, but in 1.15.2, we want to click settings and we want to make sure that open output log when game start is clicked on. Okay, if you have that on, you're going to get, if you press play and that's on, you're going to get this little output screen here. So you can see it's it's telling us a bunch of stuff about the game and I don't need to go into too much detail, but what's gonna happen is when we're running functions, it's going to tell us uh, if we have an error in our, we have a typo or something like that, it's gonna tell us the mistake so we know how to correct it. And the next thing we need to get is a good old fashioned text editor. Now this is a program outside of Minecraft that we can enter all of our commands and then Minecraft can actually read that file and then put it into the game. Now I'm going to be recommending Notepad++. There's lots of different ones you can use. This is the one I'm used to. You can even use the uh, the regular Notepad that comes with Windows. But uh, we're going to be using Notepad++. It's totally free. You can get it at notepadplus.org. Links in the description. Go down to download and then get the top one. It'll be the most recent release. Click on that and then um, I don't think it really matters which version you get I'm just gonna get the 32-bit but if you want to match this version with whatever version of Windows you have go ahead I'm gonna click download and it's gonna download and then I double click and install it so once you install notepad plus plus and load it up you'll get a screen that looks an awful lot like this and that's perfectly fine you can actually use this you can install or you can uh, type in whatever commands you want to do teleport or whatever it is and these are all all these lines are separate commands and uh, Minecraft will read that perfectly fine but for my purpose I made a custom notepad plus plus language pack that actually helps you see the commands a lot easier and you can kind of not get lost in the mundane uh, black on white small text here so I'm gonna show you how to set that up the link is in the description but if you're not gonna do that just ignore this step so if you've downloaded it basically you want to go in notepad plus plus you want to go to settings you want to go to style configurator and then you want to go to this default you want to go down to uh, deep black Okay, I want to increase my font size over here to like 18 and then I just click the enable go global font size save and close and you can see we already have larger font that's a lot easier to read. Now here's the part that we need to install our custom language pack. So we go to language, we go down to user defined language and define your language and then you're going to get this docked. You can undock it. That's what I like to do and then you want to go to import and you want to find the uh, this one here, the 1.13. It's a little outdated, but it still works pretty good. Do that, open or double click it, and then import successful. And then you need to go select it. You'll know it's on there correctly because it'll end up with this MC function as an extension. And if you go over to keywords list, you're going to get all these familiar phrases with Minecraft. And if you add the ones that have been added since 1.13, then you'll update this. But for this purpose, we'll just use the outdated one. So then once you do that, press X and then nothing's happening. But if we save this file as a function, MC function file, you'll see the words start to change color. And that's how you don't get lost in the commands. 
And back into Minecraft, this is 1.15.2. Just keep that in mind because things do change over time. But as of now, this does work. We are going to create a brand new test world so I can show you guys how to implement functions from scratch. So how we do that is we go to single player, we go to create world. I'm gonna call this something super easy to find. We're gonna call it AAA in the Windows uh, folder structure, but obviously you can name it whatever you want. I'm gonna to go to uh, creative world. I'm going to change it to a void world so we don't have to deal with much of anything. And then done and create the new world builds pretty quickly. And here we are in our brand new test world. Now, the next thing we have to do is we have to find where our world saves are on our computer. It's really easy to do. All you press is escape. You go to options and then you go to resource packs. And then down at the bottom, there is this open resource pack folder button. If you click that, a window is gonna pop up. And that will bring us into our main resource packs folder for all the resource packs we have installed in Minecraft. Now, if you don't have any resource packs installed, this folder will be empty, but it'll lead you to the correct folder so that you can find the main Minecraft folder. So what I would suggest is go to your roaming and then create a desktop shortcut so that you know how to find it. But now that we're in the main Minecraft folder, we wanna go to saves and then we want to find the world that we just created or the world that we want to put the functions in. in this case, we named it AAA. And then we want this data packs folder. And this is where all the magic happens. We are going to put all of our commands inside this data packs folder in its own data pack. So I will have a link in the description of a blank data pack that you can play around with. But from scratch, all we have to do is create a new folder. Let's call it test world. It really doesn't matter what it's called. I believe it has to be lowercase. So just watch that. Keep it lowercase. Double click that. We want to create another folder called data. And then on top of that, we need a very, very, very important file that has to be there. Otherwise, none of the commands will work. And it's called pack McMeta. So now we want to hop back into Notepad++. And we, here is the file that we need there. It has to be exactly like this, except this here. This It doesn't really matter what you write in this, but just exactly like this, there's the, the uh, data pack, the blank data pack in the description you can just play around with. We want to go to save as. We want to go into our main Minecraft folder. We want to go into uh, saves, which is here, then our world that we want. And then we want to go to data packs into test world. And then right here, this is a very important pack McMeta. Do not forget about that. Save as and you're good to go. Now, once we're back into this uh, data pack folder here, we have the pack McMeta. Now we can open up data. We want to make another folder. Now this is where all of your commands are going to, uh, you're gonna have to type them if you're looking for a function. But this one here, we'll just call it um, test. That'll work fine. And then in here, what we want to do is we want to create another folder called functions. And this is the folder, if I could spell, that is going to contain all of our commands right like that. So then back into Notepad++, we're going to create a command that we can load into Minecraft. So basically, let's just delete this and let's call it, uh, let's do a very, very complicated command, the hardest command, you probably have never seen this before, say hi. Okay, very good. So we're gonna load that into Minecraft through this text editor. Basically, we wanna go to File, Save As, and then we wanna go into Data, then whatever you've called it, then functions, and here's where we want to put that command. So let's just call it test command, and remember this has to be lowercase, dot mc function. Don't misspell it, then you'll, it won't work if you misspell it. As long as you spell it right, it should go here and change that color, or it should load up that color because it's an mc function command. So now that we have that command created, we can go back into Minecraft, and then we press done, and we press done, and back to game, and now we have a function in this world, except that Minecraft doesn't know it exists yet. So the only way to do that is either quit the game and then reload it, or you can press the reload command, and it will reload a function, or any function that you created new, or it'll update them. So the way we know that that function exists, if we do a function command, we press space, it will give us the list of all the functions that exist. Now remember, we called it test, that was the main folder, and then we called that specific command or that specific function test command. So if I press tab, it'll auto-complete it, press enter, and there it is, there's the say hi command. If I give myself a command block, uh, here we go, command block, and then I press it down, 
and I type in the function command and I do the same thing, you're going to see we can now uh, load that command. Execute it. Hi. 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 Let me just change the game rule. Game rule, command block output, false. Then you don't get these crazy uh, little italic-y things going on. So let's go back into Notepad++. So here we are back with our little function that we're working with. And the first command it's pulling up is say hi. Now let's do another command, say bye. We will save that and then we will go back into Minecraft. And remember, I said it has to be reloaded. So if I press this command, it only does the hi command. So if you reload it, it's reloaded. Now it's going to say hi, bye in that order. Hi, bye. Let's go back into Notepad++ and let's change the order of these commands. So let's put the bye in front of the hi. So line one, it says bye, then line two says hi. We will save it. We're gonna go back and we are going to reload it. And now you're gonna see that the bye happens before the hi. So the order that is in the text editor is the order that these commands go off. Now, if we change this to a uh, repeating command block and let's get a little lever and we're gonna put it on here you can see it's going to repeat those commands, uh, I think once uh, or 20 times a second is what it's going to do. So one last thing that we need to go over is the game output screen that I had you click on the launcher that comes up and shows you errors with your function. I'm going to show you what that will tell you when you have an error in your function. So let's go to Notepad++ and let's make a little typo. Now this could be anything that Minecraft doesn't recognize, even a command, something like this would definitely do it. Let's save that and let's go back into Minecraft. And here we are, we're gonna turn this off and we're going to change this to an impulse so you can kind of see it. F3 and D erases my chat. This still works obviously, but when I reload, you're going to see nothing's happening. Nothing happens. So if we go to the output of the game launcher and you can see we have some ugly alerting red text saying, oh, there's a problem. There's something wrong here. So I'm just going to scroll up slightly and you can see couldn't load the function test functions test command. That's the one that we put that funny little uh, gibberish in there. And it tells us on line three. So let's go back to the function and you can see line number three, that is a problem. So we can either delete it, we can fix it, or in uh, functions, you can add a hashtag or a pound sign and it will ignore that line entirely. So if I save that and we go back into Minecraft and again, I reload, I press this, it works again because we've hashtagged that line, which means Minecraft ignores it completely. That's a good way to write uh, your own little self comments saying this command does that or this command does that. And so just to finish this off, I'm going to show you guys this a lot of commands in here. Let's try something. All right. So here is the command that I did. It's a very stupid test function. It's got five weird little <laughs> silly commands and all these hashtags here, the game will ignore them. So it's safe to write little messages up here to remind yourself stupid test function or who created it or the date you did it and then just make sure that you save it in that folder of uh, the, um, the functions folder there so it loads up there. And back in Minecraft here we can now load our commands. So remember you press reload, you know it's there if you do function and it shows up on the list on your, uh, you press tab and you can come up with them. So we want to put it in here, we want to change it to a repeating command block, we want to change this to test command two, and here we go. We now have this command working. So we have particle effects. When we run around, we change it to lime wool or whatever stone. And there is a little bonus feature I did with animals. So let's see, let's do a cow. If you're close to an animal, you can do it and it will start to float up in the sky. Also, if you throw an item, it'll float. So just a bunch of stupid little commands and I have a huge jump boost. I forgot about that, three block jump boost. All right, guys, I'm going to just turn this off. Thanks for watching so much. Hopefully that helped you guys. It's kind of the bare, bare, bare basics of how you implement functions and only one command <laughs> inputting into your command blocks. Don't forget to leave a like and comment and subscribe. And I will see you next time, guys. Thanks for watching. Enjoy your Minecrafting.